Hi, I'm Arif Modi and I'm an Alexa skill developer. Today I'll be talking about how to implement Dashbot in your Alexa skill. Dashbot is a service that helps you track your Alexa skills analytics more comprehensively than the Amazon developer portal. If your requirements are not satisfied with the dev, the dev portal, then I would suggest using Dashbot. Not only is it free, it's so easy to integrate, even a kid can do it. Let's dive into the code. So first of all, let's go to dashbot.io, the Dashbot website. And here you can either click login or sign up, depending on whether or not you have an account. I have an account, so I'm just gonna click on login. Okay, and then once you come to this page, once you sign in, you should get you should come to a page that looks something like this. And um, then what you want to click on is add chatbot. So first, what is your bot called? So since we're creating Alexa skills, I would suggest you name your bot the name of your skill. Like I'm going to create a skill called Harry Potter trivia. So I would just name my bot. Harry Potter Trivia platform. For us, it's Alexa, but there's also other options like Microsoft, Kick, Alexa, like um, Blip, stuff like that. Category, um, if your skill is live, then I would suggest you choose the category that you chose for publishing. It doesn't really matter much, but it's still like, good to choose something. All right, so for Harry Potter Trivia, um, let me think. What would I choose? I would probably choose uh, movies and TV because that's like Harry Potter. And then production status is your skill. Like, it's still are you still developing it or is it live? If it's dev, choose dev. If it's like live, then choose prod production. So this is a dev skill for me. I'll register it. And now I have all of these things. I have name, I have my platform, category, production status. I also have this API key. And it's basically just a bunch of random characters and we'll need that later. And so now we are done setting up our dashbot part. Now let's go into the code. So I'm, I have this. And what you would first do is you need to get all of the modules you need for the, for Dashbot to work. And so what I would do is I would, um, open like the terminal or CLI, I mean CMD, and you should copy this line in npm install dash dash save Dashbot. And what it does is it gives you a lot of node modules that will help Dashbot work. So, like, I already did that. And so for that reason, in my Lambda node modules, I have, like, so a lot. Normally, you would only have, like, Ask SDK Core, Model, a few other ones. But instead, I have all of these. That's, like, a way to check if you if it worked or not. Next, to, let's go to the code somewhere, index.js. So we need to do two things, one at the top and one at the bottom. So at the top, we need to include this line. const dashbot equals require dashbot, and then this string of letters and characters and stuff, and then dot Alexa. So you would replace this with your API key. So uh, here is mine, so I'll just copy this, and I would paste it in here. And so now I have this, and this line is working. And what this does is it includes, like, Dashbot in your Alexa skill. So now we're done with the top, now we just need to go to the very bottom. We have this exports.handler line, and before you add dashbot, it should look like this. Exports.handler equals skill builder, the top line. 
but you should change it to exports.handler equals dashbot.handler and then parentheses here and here. And that wraps it in the dashbot handler call, which activates dashbot. And then once you do this, you are done. So then to check what you do, you would go to uh, your chatbots. I would choose Harry Potter trivia. And here, you as you can see, this is a lot more detailed versus the Amazon developer portal. It has like behavior, market metrics, live audience, all this stuff. And so if I were to like open my skill, then I would get some activity on this. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos on how Alexa works and implementing localization in your Alexa skill. Visit my website at awesomearv.com or follow me on Twitter at awesomearv. I hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.